Yo, what's poppin' folks? Welcome to another video today with my boy Bradley and uh, we're gonna catch some big ones. We're gonna be searching for giant bass today. I have not filmed one of the bank fishing searching for giant bass videos and I could not tell you how long, but if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. And if you would like, please go check out the Big Bass Energy merch on the website. I'll drop the link on the screen and down below. So boys, I talked about it in another episode, but I actually paired up with Six Sense to make our own Big Bass Energy sack right here. And it's got a bunch of different baits. If you guys want to check out, um, I think it's Fishing for River Monsters episode four. I talked about what's inside of it. But we got a few baits that we're going to be throwing today. And one of them is going to be, and this is the Snatch right here. And this is in Bleeding Chad. You guys know I killed them on it this fall. And I think we're probably going to get some on it today. We also have a white swim jig. It's not in this box right here, but I have one in the back of my truck that we're going to be tying on and trying to get them with. But if you guys want to check out the Kicking Their Bass Big Bass Energy Sack on the Six Sense website and get some money off, I'll pop the code on the screen and you can go check it out below. All right, boys, just made it out to this beautiful, beautiful pond right here. I'm using the hybrid jig. This is in Green Pumpkin. We're going to set that aside. And then I got a huge freaking pencil popper right here. And uh, we're gonna see if we can get a big fish to come up on top water today. Bradley's got the old swim jig on and then the old snatch and bleeding shad, which is those two right there are probably gonna smack them. I'm gonna start off with a freaking top water. I wanna see, I don't know if fish are gonna come up, but it is a hot day. And earlier we saw some fish schooling. So, I mean, it really wouldn't surprise me. Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I might, look at that bird. Look at him looking at it. It's thirty-five dollars. Are you serious? Yeah, it's a the thing walks so good. I know. I bought it just for the new. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a linear bait. Honestly, this color is perfect today because of that sun glaring down. I'm gonna throw that swim jig in this corner real quick. That trap should get munched. It looks right like just like a bait fish. There he is. Are you I ain't kidding. Two pounder. Yo, swimming jig. Pretty fish. Hammered that swim jig going through this grass. Look at that. Yes, sir. Old two pounder. First fish today. So, this actually isn't the white swim jig that comes in the Big Bass Energy box. This is a bluegill pattern one. Um, and exactly what we're doing with it is perfect for where we're fishing right now. So right now we're throwing a parallel cast next to this bank, okay? And what's on this bank, if you're wondering what we're fishing, it's a ton of this grass. As you guys can tell, you can probably see it on the bank. And this swim jig, I'm telling you, there is not another bait that is that, is that good to go through the grass. Look at that. Look how I just brought it back. And not only is it, like the grass is right below the surface, probably hard to tell, but I mean, you can reel this thing right through there and barely get any grass on there. And that's why a swim jig is just so good, especially when you're fishing areas with a lot of grass. If you guys have been fishing areas, you know, I talked about the chatter donk a lot at the beginning of this year. I stopped throwing it just cause I was honestly got bored with that. I caught so many fish on it that I just kind of stopped. But I have a lot of people saying they can't catch fish on a chatter donk, on a chatter bait. So what I would suggest is switching over to a swim jig. And the reason I would switch over to a swim jig in that situation is because it's a little more subtle. As you guys can tell, there's not a big blade on the front that's wobbling. It's got a lot of vibration. The only thing that's putting off the vibration is that little tail right there. So it's a little bit more subtle than a swim jig. And even on these tough days where these fish are on the bottom wanting to eat something slow, they'll usually eat a swim jig if you get it in front of them. Um, and that's what's great about this bait is because, you know, even if the fish aren't too active, they seem to eat it. Oh my god. Got him. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh my god, that was a five pounder. That was a five pounder. Oh my god, they're in this corner too there. Look at the freaking boil that thing just made. That was a five pounder. It came all the way out of the water. I saw him. Oh my god. Guys, I can't believe I just lost that fish. That was a five pounder. I don't know if you saw his mouth come up, but I knew it was a big one right when I hooked him. I couldn't even move him. All right, guys, I tied something on different. I tied a fluke on. I think it's going to be good. That's how these fish are acting. <gasps> Bro, that was, that was a giant. That was a giant. 
I have no idea. He had it for a second. It just wasn't in the back of his throat. That was a five pounder all day. All day. I have missed so many dang fish. I never stuck a hook in them. I know. Got him? Big in? Bradley's hooked up with his first fish today. Oh, he ain't bad. Oh, where do you eat it at? Dead sticks. Really? Yeah. He just pulled back on you? That's no, pretty one. Two pounder. Thick fish. Yeah, he was right there by that grass, man. Heck yeah. Good job. You got him? Big in? <laughs> Giant. Gosh. Here's your basic, you know, half ounce. Oh, that's a giant dog. That was a big one. You saw his back. Ooh. You missed him? Dude, look how big he is. Look at that boil. How'd you miss him? He didn't hit it. He like... He, so you never stuck him? No, I didn't hit it. No, look at that. He swiped at the tail. So you never him. had him? Never had him. That was a, that was a, that was a big one. That was a mondo. That was a big one, dude. With all of that... Oh. Oh. No way. Oh, he ain't that big. He ain't that big. You can probably flip him. It's probably like four. I don't even know if he's that big. Oh yeah, it's three and a half. Cool. That's three and a half. That's the best one today. I would have. down his throat. Oh my god. Bradley with the biggest fish today. That's not bad. That's three and a half. Hey, how about you weigh him? You got the scale, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah in there. Three think, and a quarter. Think three and a quarter. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that fish was way bigger, dude, when he was boiling. 3.1. Dude, I'm way off today, man. I guess that's not uh, three ounces off. That's fine. That's a beautiful one, though. That's the best one today. Oh yeah. That can't complain about a three pounder on a day I like think today. They're turning on. Yeah, get a little better. All right. Dang, Bradley. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Dude, I would have swore that that fish was way bigger. That boil that he put out the first time. Uh, I don't know, man. I would have swore he was at least five plus. At least five plus. <laughs> he might not be that one. It might be he a might different not, one. Because I think it could be a different one. I don't know. Spook two big fish. There's one right there too. Look at that. Another. Oh my god. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's a three pounder all day. That's clowning. That is just clowning. You know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. That I should have never caught that fish. Yeah. Cause he was swimming off the bank, and I literally, when I casted, you know, how you're supposed to smooth cast. I went. <laughs> and he just decided, like, I'm gonna destroy this thing. That was a good one. Solid two and a half. He ain't quite three. <laughs> Destroyed it. Yeah. Destroyed it. So guys, this is the fluke that we're throwing. Honestly, like with today, we thought the white was gonna do a lot better. I don't know, they're starting to eat it a little better. That bait fish in the back of that fish's throat was this color. Yeah, it matched this color. Yeah, it was this color. Dude, that was so, I should have never caught that fish. I'm gonna be honest with you. He was that I I think I just, they're in this corner. God, look at that boil. Oh. Why do they look so big today, man? They've done everything to try to fool us. They in this corner though. I jacked his lip. Look at that. Hmm. Two pounder. Hefty guy. We finally on him. All right, let's give this old swim jig a try. Beautiful. Out of the big bass energy box. You guys can check it out. Let's see if we can catch a big in on it. Yeah, there's usually a ton of grass right here. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Let's go! God, we whacking them right away, bro. That's two pounder. Look at that. Swim jig. Look how he ate it, too. <laughs> he hammered it, dude. They're chasing bait on this grass, guys. Swim jig right there. Divine swim jig. Six cents. And the big bass energy bag. Coat up on the screen. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Look at the colors on him living in that grass. Right here, they're chasing bait. We got all this wind pulling up on it, and they're active. Bradley's throwing a fluke, throwing a swim jig. Let's get it. Oh, oh. 
not bad dude they are chasing bait out there bro we're throwing the perfect baits they're not big it's only a pound look at that he hammered it so hard dude he knocked slack in it oh not big we just weaving through the small ones got oh okay we weaving through the small ones guys bradley had a big one a second ago they're chasing bait today i think it's his wind that's helping it out right here i started to reel it a lot slower there and i like kind of paused it and it dropped and he ate it i got one. Oh my god hey giant oh he ain't that big why do you feel so large guys listen look at that divine swim jig dude they are munching it the subtle approach the swim jig wind pushing up in the grass fish feeding on bait this couldn't be a better bait to be throwing right now look at that beautiful little shad imitation and they are munching it not big but they're beautiful all right let's go god i can't believe we already caught like five you should get slammed right there oh my god throw your fluke in there dude he ate my tail or yeah i did grab some more ah yeah i never dude i never have to change these out unless they eat the freaking tail swim baits are so good four pounder broke me off again okay. same one that bit me a second ago I don't know. There's no way. He choked the heck out of it, dude. It was gone. I mean, look. How could it be this line? There's no phrase in it. Look how clean they're cutting it. You think they're just eating it that far? Look. That ain't a fray, dude. It was a bass. I watched him. Is that not stupid? All right, boys. We have the hybrid jig. You guys know I've caught some donkeys. I actually caught a seven this year. There he is. Oh, he spit it. He's got it. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Just film for me. Just film for I'm filming, I'm filming, I'm filming. Dude, that's it. that might be your PB, bro. Here, I can go down and grab him if you need me to. You got him? <laughs> my GoPro died. My GoPro died. Really? Are you kidding me? I thought it would be at least eight. He's seven. Yeah. Seven on the. I didn't even show the camera, did I? No. Oh, it's, it's still showing seven. Oh yeah. Seven on the money. He's just not fat. I guess but so. I would have swore he would have been eight pounds. I in the same pocket. So we're gonna give this a shot and work this thing on the bottom. Bradley's gonna throw the swim jig now. I just kept having some bad luck of breaking off. Right out here, where you just cast this the drop off. There's like some weird hard crap on the bottom. See like they died off. There he is. Oh my gosh, Bradley. I saw him running. He's right there on that drop off, dude. You know when you lift up oh, sometimes? Geez. Oh, I'm telling you. He was sitting right on that drop off. Let's see if we'll eat it again. Oh, yep. Got it. it ain't even that big. <clears throat> it's a three. <clears throat> hybrid jig baby fishing a drop off look at that six cents hybrid jig thing catches a man right there he's skinny i could be a three pounder all day but he's probably two and a half i thought he was giant bro the way he had it in his mouth he felt so big that's two bites right there might have been the same one but we're gonna throw back in there solid two and a half i thought he was a giant too when it, you know on a jig you can tell when he's big that's what he felt like he's on that drop off Bacon? Oh my gosh. Yep. He just got big mouths, dude. They're skinny body. He could have been a four. He's a three pounder. Like when he jumped, he looked like a four pounder. Crazy. He like a four pounder. Bradley's hooked up with a decent one. He barely hooked any. Gosh, that swim jig, dude. Look at that. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's when you're catching him, dude. I saw him come up out of that grass mat and hit it. What, just right out of it? I threw it right beside that tree, and then I moved it, and then I saw a huge boil, and then I was like, okay, I got it. He's right there in the jig? He's right there in the jig. Gosh. 
Dude, they are eating that thing. This one, guys, so we switched it up when I broke that one off. I was throwing the regular white. This one's a bluegill one. And uh, we got that same Divine Swimbait trailer on there. And uh, man, been that thing's awesome. One. Gosh, I can't believe how good they're eating that thing. It's like they're not super active today, but they want something subtle. But that thing's just, you know, like if you're throwing the chatter donkey, you don't have many bites not on it. You switch bites. up to that. I don't feel, yeah. Now I'm done with all you said, all you want.